Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 28 of Direwolf20's Fortress Craft Evolve series. Today, we're going to be doing something. Um, it has occurred to me, as a result of what I called last episode's epic fail, <laughs> that I have a lot of work to do as it relates to defending my base. And as such, we're really going to want to completely automate all aspects of missile production. How am I going to automate all aspects of missile production? Well, step one will absolutely be getting gold up to the top level, um, which means a little bit of right now I'm just collecting all my resources, but we want to babysit our gold, make sure we're getting tons of it, and then uh, start working our way up. So um, I could probably clear this stuff away. This was all like the stuff that I built for a lot of the you know, other things I had done. Is my inventory full? I'm, best, I'm, I'm betting my inventory is full. Hey, how did I guess? Let's just like put stuff away that I don't absolutely need right now. I have this like kind of junk storage chest right here um, for anything that I don't really need right now. Um, just to keep my inventory nice and clear. I don't even know how there's this type of ore in here, but okay, that's cool. That ought to do, right? Yeah, I don't think I need this on me at the moment. Just organizing inventory, don't mind me. I know, it's not the most entertaining thing in the world, but I'll do my best. Um, that should be good for now. Uh, maybe this guy can go away, because I don't know what he's there for. Probably reasons. All right, so let's clean up this old mess that we have from when we were making and I was naive enough to think, oh, this was the hard part. Making this thing was the hard part, right? <laughs> oh, dire. Making that big orbital energy transmitter wasn't hard at all. Powering it was the hard part. I was naive. I was stupid. What do you want from me? Um, so yeah, our plan, basically do everything we can to get stuff going the proper way. That should be sufficient. Yes. So what I'm thinking is, um, the reason I put this here is because I want to put down my auto builder. Nice. Um, if I place my auto builder here, and he's facing upwards, and he's getting tons of power, he should rapidly be able to build to the surface. Uh, because I don't want to protect this whole line with uh, lasers, what I think I'm going to do is use, you guessed it, uh, these guys, where are they? These things, yes. So what I'm thinking is I would put this here and now my calculations are we're at negative 393, so we're gonna need about 400 <laughs> of these guys. Um, let's do some maths and hopefully I've got enough of what I need. Transport pipes, 400. Um, so we're going to need 1200 nickel covered. 2,000 crystal covered. Uh, we're gonna need 800 titanium. Absolutely no problem. 10. Oh, 2010. We've got 163. That's suddenly a big problem. Wow, I did not realize I was that low on 10. Holy cow. I didn't even like consider that before I started recording this episode. I was all ready to start sending these things up here. Uh, we need to do something about 10. Um, Let's investigate our tin situation, and I might need to rapidly increase the speed at which tin is being produced for our base, because that is a really low number that I was not anticipating even a little bit. It, like, I wasn't even close to believing that I was that low on tin. Well, now I've got a couple hundred more, so that's good. Um, I do need to get my production going up here a little bit better. Um, these things are all, in theory, working. I did move my gold production thing over to here. Um, it's not running at the moment because the thing I haven't hooked up yet is power to my missile assemblers. So those guys are lacking power at the moment. I just moved gold to the other side because I figured everything's kind of coming from over here. This way I can continue to expand off in this direction without having to move the extruder setup. So it being there last episode was kind of a, I don't want to say a super durable, but it was not, it was not intelligent. Um, so I guess one thing I could try, let's deal this for a minute. This is my tin production, right? I never did check out tier four and five smeltering. Should we try that? I, 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 would, I would like to try that. Mark four induction, mark five induction. No idea what's involved in crafting these, but we're gonna look and find out. 
Um, so smeltery production. So tier four needs some titanium plates, 32, 32 four to five PCBs, 32 gold wires, which luckily kind of making those, and two Mark III force inductions. Okay, cool. Um, well, another Mark III force induction should be a problem. That's done. Um, titanium plates. Having 32 of these is not going to be a challenge for me. There, now I've got 100. Haha. Uh -huh. um, I might have titanium plates around here somewhere. I know I just put like three or four into a chest down there. How many are in here? 24. Okay, cool. That's a decent number that I'll, I'll be happy with. Um, this guy will run for a few minutes. Gold wire. We needed, what, 32 of those as well? I think I put a bunch into one of these as well here. How many is here? Seven? It's not a large number, but it'll do. And I can easily get more because I've got at least 10 sitting over here, just kind of chilling, right? Two. That's copper pipe. That's the wrong one. There we go. Nice. Must have copper pipes. Oh, there it is. Yeah. We're going to want to do something with that. What's this? Two rubble? Okay. Pretty sure that's that. And then rubble can go in here somewhere. So right now we're not being attacked terribly, uh, obviously, because we're okay. So see, this guy is producing and doing its thing. Nice. Gold wire. Gold wire. Good. So that's enough of that. Also, my uh, these things are stopped at the moment. Not that I'm complaining. I'm kind of happy that they're stopped, but it wasn't intentional. I'll explain why they're stopped. Is that enough? Yeah, that should be good. So can I make tier four? Yes. Crafting. Nice. Now what's involved in making a tier five? Eight tier fours? Wow. Okay. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Um, I just wanted to see what was involved in making them. I've never made them before, clearly. Um, where in my inventory did that go? There it is. Mark four forest induction. Curious how fast this runs. quick um debating let's follow this tin line because part of me kind of forgets where my tin's coming from even might even want to consider so what do you got going on down here tin line is this my tin yeah it looks like it yeah how are you in terms of resources remaining 187,000, not bad. You still got a steel cutter head too, that's nice. Your drill is at 32x speed. So I might want to boost this thing a little bit and maybe just get a second, maybe tier three. Just because tier threes are obviously easy to make. Just have to figure out where I can split this because copper is kind of in my way. So we're up 310. Uh, we need like 2,000, I think. So how about I come back in a few minutes once I've smelted some tin? All right, guys, we're back. I'm thinking I set up here much the same system that I set up down um, with the whole uh, titanium setup that I did, because I'm doing pretty good on titanium with 13,000 of it. So whatever I did down there worked pretty well. So let's get the motorized conveyor. I don't remember what's involved in making one of these. Also, um, I did some good prep work for what's probably going to happen soon. So let's get up here and grapple foo our way up to the top. So we're going to want more tin, obviously, and more gold. And then we're going to make another attempt at charging this OED. Hopefully I can get it so that I'm producing missiles pretty quickly. Um... I came up here to make something that was a motorized conveyor. That's right. <laughs> Took me a second. Uh, advanced conveyor filter, servo motor. Advanced conveyor filter is just a conveyor belt filter, which cool, cool, and cool. There we go. Good. Um, and then we're probably going to want at least a handful more of these transport pipes, right? Yeah, I, I can't see. Crafting. 
out of what I need to make transport pipes. Yeah, there goes all my tin. Cool. Wow, that really didn't last long. That's why we're making more tin, like right now. Um, I can't believe how low I am on tin. Like, I just wasn't paying attention to my tier one wars, I guess, because I had so many of them and never had a problem before. You're cool here, right, by the way, power? Like, you, uh, you guys aren't dying as a result of my greedy power usage. Just want to make sure. Yeah, they look okay. This thing's actually running on normal skill? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> things you find out about your base when you haven't been, you know, doing things with them for a while. Okay. Um... So the plan is get more tin, get more of the tubes, get things from gold coming up. So yes, that's our plan. I can I can do this. So um, motorized conveyor, which would be you facing that way, right? And so that's used zero. This guy filled up pretty quickly. We're probably going to want at least tier two lasers coming this way. So we'll reconfigure this layout in a bit. But for now, let's kind of just prepare for what we're going to want. So we'll just tube this out so that it's... Where's the line? Like, where's the little pointers that I'm used to? Yes, that's what I want. That is the direction I want. Cool. And you're going, right? You should be pulling out of here, you used 100. Oh, you know what? I think I remember you not being able to pull out the top of this thing. There we go. Can you pull out now, is that cool? You should be good and happy, I hope. If not, I'm going to be annoyed at you. You've got the power, dude. Yeah, that's what he wants to be. All right, I'll do it that way. Fine. There we go. Okay, cool. So that's good. Um, I can probably just run this along here, I'm thinking. Um, I wonder if I can... That should be good, right? Yes. So let's do that. Oh, I have an idea. What if we just did... right? And we came into a conveyor turntable that was here. We want to split this four ways. Um, so this guy's a little bit close for what I want. But I think we can do this. Okay. So let's do the conveyor turntable. Let's prep this part of it first, right? So... Um, We'll have ore processing plants here. Where are they? Uh, I know I made four of these guys. Stamper plants. Yeah, I don't need those. Where the heck are they? There they are. Ore smelters. Cool. And then tier three. So I made four of each. So we'll do one, two, three, four. Why not? And then we'll do this into here, right? These actually have to be hoppers, don't they? Yeah, this might need to go back one level. That'll do. Let's try that again. So we will have storage hoppers on the front set to machines can remove from you. Hmm. 
this should work. It would be rather compact, as a matter of fact. So then what we really just need to do is pipe the items in here, like come straight down on top of this thing. That should work pretty well. By the way, I found um, another tin vein that I'll show you guys in a minute. Or do I want this to like go into the ground? That might not be a terrible idea. So what if we did this? You come down here. So this is the turntable, right? So you go upwards like that. There we go. And then you should come up like that. Awesome, that works, right? I mean, it's not perfect, but it'll do, right? And everybody should get their share. Perfect. That's what I wanna see. All right, so now we want our tier three of these dudes, and then we're gonna want some power. So I'm thinking tier two batteries. That sound cool, to everybody? One, two, three, four. Okay. So now let's get these laser powers transmitting in a slightly more efficient manner than we currently have. All right, guys, so I think we got something here. If I do that, that should get tier three laser power going into my smelters and they should all start kicking up into speed. Yeah, look at that, power's going in, nice. So they should be running. Um, now it's just a matter of, I think I'm gonna need tier two power going into this direction because I just boosted the speed of my tin. So I'm just trying to figure out the most efficient way of doing this. So yeah, I just put an antimatter drill motor in here. Tier one power, definitely not enough. Um, we're just gonna basically remove these guys. We don't need these tier one lasers here at all anymore. We'll let, we'll let that be coal. Um, so this, this guy's here. What if I just, Oh, there we go. That cleared up very quickly, which leads me to be concerned a little bit. How much time do we have left here? We're doing all right. Okay. Um, so what if we put... We're going to remove you. we make this tier two right here. So I could put, like, a laser here. I'm thinking tier two laser might be enough. We'll find out. Get you running. And then I want this to be another storage hopper here again. There we go. So that should be, right, 15 power a second. I don't know how much this uses, but I think I remember the tier two being enough. We'll see though. Should boost this guy. Um, oh, that's a problem. I just took away the power source for this, didn't I? Derp. Bad dire wolf. Um, could put one. Yeah, I don't want to do that though. Dire is a derp. So what if we put you and you like that. Is that cool? You are draining power pretty heavily right now, but you should pick back up soon and you should be all right. These guys are gonna fill pretty ideally. This thing should build up. So we're right back. 
All right, so that does seem to be building up a buffer, which is good. It tells me that things are cool. You've got enough juice to keep running. Uh, this thing seems to be cruising right along. And we seem to be smelting lots of tin. Um, and then I'm going to do something like, like this. And this. There we go. So incidentally, right down this path. I managed to find a tin vein with, hold on to your horses, one million tin in it. So that should probably last a while. I suspect. It's not too far, it's about 50 drops down. So like, or, or, that's actually 30 down. So that's actually really not bad. All I'll have to do is just, you know, obviously route some power down there to, to actually do the mining, but um, that should be easy. I just, you know, route the, the tubes up and into this conveyor and I can leave this smelting system here because it's actually just fine. Cool. So tin incoming. All right, guys, we are back and I think I think I just collected, yay, 2.1k tin. Nice. So that setup definitely boosted us. Let's get downstairs. Whoosh. I'm gonna go down this side. Going down. So I should now be able to produce about 400 of those tubes. Let's see if I'm right. The thing that I went to do like at the beginning of this episode, this is what this episode was gonna be about until I realized I was short on tin. So, you know, that's what happens. There we go. So 400-ish, that should be good. I mean, I'll, I'll probably grab a few extra. I'm gonna want more when, once it gets up to the top, but for now, 400 should get me pretty darn close to upstairs. So, you. You. Cool. That thing should actually move pretty quick getting up to the top. So, I'm gonna let that automation thing run, and we'll be back once we've gone through about 400 of those. Alright, so let's get gold going upstairs. Um, I'm thinking what we can do like this. So one line would go up here. So which one's gold here? This one? So we'll go like this. Man, I'm getting better at placing these conveyors, let me tell you. Not perfect, but I mean, that was pretty pro, right? This one we probably want to go upwards like that. And then we remove this guy. That was just temporary. So this will go up here and around. There we go. Nice. And then... This could be something like to here -ish. Eventually, yeah, like that. Not the prettiest build in the world, but it'll do. All right, and this one's gold here, so you're gonna go like that. Cool. So now we should have a significant amount of gold making its way up. With two conveyor lines going into this thing, it should keep gold flow pretty good. And 
this doesn't have to be here anymore, so our laser beams can come down, because those are important things to keep on to. Oh, you're blocking my tier 3 laser. You are not awesome. I always forget about line of sight with these lasers. It's terrible for me. But let's basically go around here then, I guess, would probably be the best course of action. Things are getting tight. Okay, so... Probably don't want to block this thing either. So let's do this. jetpack. That ought to do nicely. We can remove all this stuff, because now that the conveyors are actually placed, it shouldn't be a problem. So our lasers are coming down and our matter mover is good, so we should be in good shape now, right? And we've got multiple conveyors basically going in. I could have come on into this side, but, I mean, it works. It's cool. Um, and I should be all right for falling down still. Nice. Let's teleport upstairs and see what kind of fun we're having. These can probably go away, too. Just for appearance's sake. You know what? It occurs to me I could probably... I think I have a better plan that I just came up with. You guys probably noticed it first, but I think there's a better way to do what I just did. I know. All the work I just did. Dire you derp. What if I did this? Is that going the right way? No. cool that should work right yeah and then we don't need this whole line perfect all right cleaning up be right back all right let's try this now so we're going to want to get this gold that we're piping up over here probably along this line is this where this is i'm right underneath this green laser here that's going to my coal so you're like a little bit in my way green laser just a little bit. Let's see, if I bring this thing down here. That's not terrible, I could probably work that out, right? And green laser is just gonna have to move. That's the decision I just came to. How he'll move, I'm not sure yet, but I'll move him. But for now, let's get... Should I use these transport pipes? I think so. I think I've got... I just collected a bunch of tin, so I should be able to craft at least another 25 or 50 more. And this will get our gold up and running. 
All right, so that gets gold going that way. Like I said, I'll move the screen laser. These guys should be going up then. You can see the gold kind of following me. That's a good indication that I'm doing things right. And once this gold is hooked up, we will have 100% automated all the resources required to make missiles. Then I'll start recharging my OET thing. And well, I still have to hook up power to the missiles. I'll probably do that next episode. But then we can start recharging the OET and uh, hope that we can survive beyond, what was it? I didn't even get to 10%, right? So <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be fun times. All right, so you should be filling up now with gold. Nice, that's what I wanna see. I mean, I do have 11,000 gold in my inventory, so that's cool, right? Um, I can at least help making more missiles, but we're gonna definitely wanna have more missile storage, I think. So one of the things I'll probably do is kind of do this. Yeah, and then we'll have like a nice backlog of missile storage, right? And we can do the same thing over here. So pretty much this whole system should be pretty awesome at this point. So you can be an output. So you guys were move only right remove 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 across the board right and these should be Adam cool and that should be good so once we get power to these things, missile production starts to kick off. We can expand this line very easily, um, and I think we'll be in good shape. So for now, Darwell20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Massive income of 10. Hooray, because I was getting low. I mean, look, I'm, I'm under 1,000 again. <laughs> uh, apparently 10 is a resource you're going to need more of. But Tier 2 Wars we're actually doing really well on. Uh, once this tin vein wears out, I'll have to move it. But that'll be a quick and easy thing to do. Uh, got to relocate my laser here. Let's do that. And uh, for now, yeah, sign off point. So hope you guys enjoyed all the stuff and things we did today. For now, take it easy.